Okay, good afternoon to you. It is afternoon, it's not the best of days, but uh, I wanted to show you how our new water press is going to work. We've got it available in three sizes, 20, 40 and 80. This one here that we're demoing is the 20 litre press. Uh, they're rather exciting, There's something rather new and something that we're really excited to have in our portfolio. So we've crushed some apples, we've got them in a nice pulp here. Chris is helping me, but as you can see they're sort of in a nice pulpy consistency. If we squeeze them, the juice is just starting to come out. So it's a nice firm texture. And I'm just going to get these apples and jug them into the fruit press. Thanks, Chris. Oh, it sounds as though we've got a bit of a band on in the background as well. Chesterfield, high season, Sunday. It's our version of Glastonbury, I think. Now, this has taken about half a wheelbarrow full of apples. So just give you an idea as to how much has actually gone in here. And we can press it down a bit. So we'd be able to get some more in as well if we needed to. Do you want to just tip that up, Chris? Beautiful. Okay, so we've now got that in position. We're just going to put the jug underneath. I'm going to put the top on, put it into position here, and then tighten down. So that's all ready to go. As you can see, juice is coming out quite quickly already. Okay, so just a little couple of things that I need to talk to you about before we actually switch the water flow on. On here we've got a pressure release valve here that will release the excess air that gets in that centre chamber. What we'll do is once we've done the pressing, we'll turn the press on its side and then you can actually look at the insides of it. Um, what will happen is the bladder in the centre is going to start to expand with the water going in. The fruit that we've put in is all beautifully crushed. It's so important to get the right texture before it goes into the actual press. Otherwise, the juice just won't come out of it. So that's lovely pressed, um, crushed fruit that's gone inside the press. Now, with the press, you can see we've got an all stainless steel basket. We've got a, a painted top, painted bottom. We do do a version of this, which is all stainless steel, but you're looking at possibly 15% more for the base being all in, sorry, 50% more for the base and the lid all being in stainless, but it is really the Rolls-Royce of presses, that particular one. We're looking and we need a two bar pressure. So an ordinary water tap is normally quite good enough. So I'm gonna just ask Chris to switch on there so that we can start to see what's happening. And as he switches on, the water's starting to flow inside into that, um, black liner and as you can see the juice is now starting to come out whoa look at it it's really flowing <clears throat> the advantage with the water press is it obviously takes all the work out of it we're not having to turn we're not having to twist we're not having to put some basic muscle into it the water's doing it all for us and we've got some nice juice coming out of there our pressure we're up to about um, Oh, just over three PSI and dropping down to two. So we'll just hold it there for a short while and then we can just charge it up again. Think in terms of your press, whatever the size of it is, you're going to get about 30% of that size in the way of juice. This press here is a 20 litre, so we're looking at getting between six and seven litres of juice out of it. It will depend on the type of fruit that we're using and how ripe it is. If the apples are particularly ripe and sweet, then we're obviously going to get a lot more juice out than if they're not. 
So here we've got about five and a half, six litres of juice now. So we'll probably call that one a day and say we're about there. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to dismantle this now and show you the insides and the way things work. Chris, can you just pass me those two bags as well? Sometimes the juice will squirt out particularly quickly. And what we've got here is we have a cover that will go over the outside and stop it squirting everywhere. So that just simply fits over the top like that and down and protects the juice so that it all goes into the tray. And this one here, this one is like, if you can imagine, a big straining bag. So that actually goes inside the press and the juice will come from this way and obviously means all you get is absolute juice. You won't get any bits and pieces in it. It will just be pure juice. Now, when the juice is coming out, it will come out a lovely golden color. If you don't want that to brown, you do need to add a Camden tablet, roughly a Camden tablet per two or three liters of juice. <clears throat> so you'll need to add a couple of Camden tablets to that to stop it oxidizing. That will stop it from browning. Um, if you're not bothered about the browning effect, which most of us aren't, I've got to be honest, because we prefer not to have the chemicals, then that's a bonus. You don't need to add anything to it, but except that the juice will be a little bit browner than you would it perhaps normally expect if you bought it from a supermarket. The juice is absolutely awesome. It just tastes fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're moving the juice to one side. That's all our lovely, 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 lovely apple juice. And we've got a tap here on here which will just release all the water that's inside the container. There is a facility on that tap to put a hose on it, so if you want to run it to a water butt or something like that so you don't waste the water, that's fine. So we're just going to run that off. We can unscrew the top. Thanks, Chris. And the big black balloon inside it is now starting to go down. And as you can see, the fruit is really pressed against the side walls of the mesh. It's done a fabulous job squeezing for us. Once that goes down back to normal size, then obviously we can clear out the pressed apples inside and we can start again. But quite a simple little process and as I say the water press does take all the hard work out of it because the water pressure is doing it for you. The fruit itself is excellent. Don't chuck it away. It's really good for uh, providing nutrition for your garden so you can use it as a fertilizer as you would manure. It's good for pigs. They love it. Love to eat it. And uh, I'm just going to lift this off into the bucket and off she comes. So we're all done. As you can see, here's the bladder which has had the water in it. If we want to just make sure we've got no water in it, just release that and that helps. And out the water flows. Once it's empty, obviously we can put it away. If it's, it doesn't need to be empty if we're going to start doing the next batch. And then inside the showroom, we've got the 40 and the 80 litre, which we'll add to the film afterwards. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy it.